first before we continue let's go back in and uh, go all the way here and connect this to the group input to uh, create a uh, scale input slot like so and now we can control the scale right here now we need to create a gap in between the diamond so create a map range node and we're gonna use this map range node to control the gaps in between the cells I mean the diamonds so first let's flip these two values like so and reduce this from max value to create the gap create a value node there we go and this value node will be the gap thickness however as you can see if I change this value to something below zero I will get an error so I'm going to uh, clamp this to 0 and 1 so that it will never be lower than 0 and never be higher than 1 and let me just set the thickness for the gap alright create another map range node and this time this is going to be the actual diamond so flip the, these back to default and get rid of this now I'm going to connect this gap to this from mean to get rid of uh, the part of the diamonds that was uh, covered by the gap create another value node this will be the bevel value of the diamond and for this bevel value I'm going to flip it like so let's set this to 0.5 for now now I'm going to flip this value like that so these are the two flip values and next let's multiply this together alright and finally we flip it again after the multiply and connect this to the max value alright let, let me zoom in here as you can see we have a very clear cut on the diamond like that and this value will control the cut now it's a good time to start making our diamond shader so create a uh, glossy shader and this one is gonna be red and create another one this one will be just green and a third one this will be just blue and for the roughness let's just use 0.2 for all three materials I mean shaders let's create a uh, Fresnel input for the red let's use 2.4 for green let's use 2.6 and finally for the blue shader let's use 2.8 now create a uh, mixed shader node and connect the glossy shader to the second shader input and uh, the Fresnel to the factor and leave this shader slot empty do the same for the other two glossy shaders and finally we're gonna add these three together next we need to create the bump for the diamonds so this will go to the height and connect the normals to all of these like that all right let's bring everything forward a little and group these wires like so so this is our diamond material for now it looks nothing like the final result but don't worry this is the correct step the next thing we need to do is to break up the the height information so that it show off the uh, different color channels so to do that let me just bring this UV map down here and I'm going to create a Voronoi texture just use 2D because uh, our texture is just 2D anyway let's connect over like so and I'm going to use something very small like so we will come back and uh, tweak the size here later but, uh, for now let's use this texture next let's go to 
vector and create a vector transform node and transform this to normal and from world to camera it should be something like this all right now we will connect this to the normal input of this bump node and let's view the result all right at this point you should have something like this right and uh, as you can see it looks very much like the sparkling of diamond but uh, this is nothing like the final result just yet because this is ju just the uh, reflection layer a real diamond should also have like a lot of refraction underneath so the next thing we need to do is to somehow fake the refraction of the diamonds so let me just move this bump node back here a little and I'm going to create a vector map scale and scale by minus one and I'm gonna scale this bump vector by minus one basically I'm just gonna flip the diamond from upside into something down like this create a diffuse shader and another glossy shader and add these together like so and this is gonna be something like that and we're gonna connect this normal into these two shaders alright let's take a look now you should have something like this it looks like the refraction of diamonds right and we can add this with the reflection layer to get something like this so now as you can see we have something very similar to uh, transparent glass and uh, let's create an RGB node and control the color of the diamond let's try blue and let's try something red All right let's just use white for now all right let's move on to the next step we're gonna add these gap between the diamonds and uh, yeah for the gap let's just simply use a uh, glossy shader and uh, mix these together like so and let's go back here this map range node this is the gap create a math node and uh, let's say greater than zero we're gonna get a map of the gap let's connect this gap mask to this mix node like so but we need to flip the uh, inputs like that and uh, let's make the gap gold for now now if we zoom out a little we can see that we already have something that looks very nice but we don't have the colorful sparkle of diamonds just yet and we need to somehow add that sparkle as well so let me just go back here and create another Voronoi node but uh, this time let's create some larger Voronoi about that much we can always come back here to uh, tweak this Voronoi later on so let's just uh, leave it as that and uh, move on separate XYZ like that alright and, and uh, combine color we're gonna combine HSV connect the X to the hue and uh, create two map range node one for the Y and one for the Z dimension and connect these two over to the combined color node for this map range node let's use let's say 0 0.9 to 0.99 and for this map range node let's use 0 0.96 and let's increase this value to something very high let's say 75 and that will be the intensity of the sparkle it's kinda like fake lights let's create a reroute node and uh, move it up here and we will create another glossy node and use this color as the sparkle decrease the roughness a little and also connect the uh, inverted bump into here and so we have this sparkle like this and again we will add this to the shader 
and let's see as you can see we now have some very nice sparkle for our diamond 